Uh, hi guys, so I'm going to read Detective Comics number 37. So the cover in this issue is more accurate because in Batman's on the cover, but it's uh, it's more accurate because he does fight criminals. But it's in a it's in a Honda, it's in like a old abandoned house though. Um, there's a bunch of advertisements. Now I'm going to try to put more um, emotion into me speaking. Uh, I I have trouble doing it sometimes because I'm I'm autistic. But uh, I'll try, and I'm not. I'm not very. I'm very. Um, I have a very monotone voice as a result. But um, I'll try to do my best anyway. Already an almost, already an almost legendary figure, the cowled shadow of the Batman prowls through the night, preying upon the criminal parasite, like the winged creature whose name he had adopted. The Batman, having lost his way on a lonely by-road, stops before a lone house to ask directions. Suddenly from the house comes a scream like the like the that of a wild beast in pain. So yeah, it looks a lot like the Batmobile now. Again through the silent night, a scream. I'm probably sticking my head out for trouble, but I'm going to find out. Why someone in that house is screaming his head off. The Batman races to the house. Opening the door, he cautiously steps inside. Voices from a lighted room draw his attention. Shall I give shall I give it to him again? No, no, please don't. Don't please don't don't burn me again. Well we'll tell Turg that you've been selling information. He'll do much worse to you. Tell us whom you sold the information to or else you get the heated poker. Better tell me, Joey, or I'll... Don't you think that fellow might catch cold with his chest exposed like that? Who are you? I know who it is. That's the Batman. He's dynamite. Am I intruding, gentlemen? A gun suddenly covers the Batman. The Batman, eh? Well, you're not so smart as you might seem. On the contrary. I hope I don't play too rough. As one of the gun gunmen rises, the Batman comes up with a paralyzing uppercut. And that is that. Now that I've taken care of them, I've, I'll take care of you. Just one moment and I'll have these ropes off. And we can use them to tie these fellows up. While the Batman uh, turns to tie up the others. By the way, why did these men torture you? What did they have against you? I mean, of course, besides the hawk poker. Well, er, uh, you see. The Batman is struck from behind. Sorry, buddy. If I wasn't so grateful to you, Mr. Batman, you wouldn't be getting what these boys are going to get. No, no. Don't, Joey. Please. Have you gone crazy? Don't! Three shots from the gun, and the three bound men are dead men. Uh, now Turg will never know that I've been double-crossing him. The Batman doesn't know anything about it. Or don't know anything about it, and these guys will. Dead men tell no tales. Sometime later, wow, what hit me? If I'm not a prize sap... Erps. Yeah, sorry, I never read it in the... Wow, what hit me? If I'm not a prize sap, letting that guy conk me when I say... Those fellows are bleeding. I, d I didn't hit them that hard. They're all dead. That fellow Joey must have done it. I guess I should be thankful that I'm not... That, that I'm not too. Why should he want to kill them? He must have a stronger motive than just revenge because of the torture... Of course, they knew too much. They said they would tell a man named Turg that he had been selling information. They probably worked for Turg, and he had to kill them so that Turg wouldn't know, wonder what that information was. Later, the home of Bruce Wayne, alias the Batman. Turg is not a common name. There shouldn't be many of them. Ah, 
Here they are. There are only three turgs in the book. Tomorrow, we'll call upon the turg somehow. This case promises to be interesting. Also, another reason I don't do the voice, I I don't try to be loud, is because I have other people in my house. I have like five other people in my house. So I don't want to, um, I have a lot of people, so I don't, yeah, I, I don't want to like cause like a lot of noise and that. I don't like doing that. But, well, the other turgs are quite respectable now. I'll try this grocery store, which seems to be a very bad street for business, seeing that there aren't many pe houses about. I'd like a pound of sugar, please. Just a minute and I'll get it for you. At that moment in the back of the store, I'm going out for a while. I'll take care of things. All right, Mr. Turg. So Joey, my companion of the old house, with Mr. Turg, who certainly doesn't look like a grocery man. What's that old saying about birds of a feather flock together, hmm? That night, a weird mass figure of the Batman pauses before the grocery of Elias Turg. What can I do for... what? Greetings, Al. I'm not buying anything this time. The Batman opens the back door and mounts the stairs. The message I have received from headquarters is... Joey, what are you staring at? Look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, I am, and he's got a mask on. Good evening, gentlemen. How's the grocery business? What the? That costume? You're the Batman. As he speaks, the Batman hands steal uh, towards the light switch. How's your chest, Joey? Fine. Batman, eh? Shoot him, men. A click, then darkness and the red flashes of gunfire. The lights are out. Get them on. We can't see him in the dark. The Batman uh, pulls over his eyes a queer type of glass from... An almost invisible support upon the black cowl. So yeah, this is like Detective Vision and like the Batman Arkham games, I guess. But it's like X-ray vision. But though he himself cannot be seen with these glasses of his own invention, the Batman can now see in the dark as would a real bat. I can see a blasted thing. He was near the door last time. Maybe I got him with my shots just a kiss in the dark this gun won't do you any good help he's over here the batman turned to shoot in the direction of the batman the, uh, the men turned to shoot in the direction of the batman's voice the batman however deftly shifts to another part of the room his voice came from over there no he's over here ugh the men shudder in terror as he realizes the supernatural power of the Batman. He can see in the dark, just like a real bat. No wonder he's called the Batman. It's uncanny. And now, gentlemen, I must leave you. But we shall soon we shall meet again soon, I promise you. The Batman gone. The lights switched are on or the lights are switched on. He's gone. Funny how he knew about us using the stores or headquarters. I think Joey knows, don't you? He spoke to you. He knew your name. You told him about us. No, no, I swear. You lie, you traitor. Die a traitor's death. No, no, I swear. Ugh. Do you think he told the Batman of our plans to blow up the ship tomorrow night? He must have. We cannot delay. We must sink the ship tonight. Come, let us go to the pier now. When the men are, have gone, a tall masked figure rises. The Batman. Making believe I had gone, and then hiding wasn't the bad idea. Poor Joey, they say. He's still alive. Batman! Batman! Joey, can you hear me? What's this all about? What ship are they going to blow up? The spies. Blow up foreign ship, um, Ronage makes it look like U.S. did it. Start international crisis. Don't know who head is. 
stole phone number from Turg at uh, 5743. Uh, I'm not really spy. Needed money. Get them for old, good old USA. Get, uh, don't worry, Joey. I'll get them. Only at a pier, on a pier at lower downtown. Where is Turk? He has not yet come. He has gone to see the head. We are to go on with our work. Listen, the small boat below is loaded with TNT. We lash the steering wheel, head the boat for the Ronage, and then the explosion. We're far away from the scene. It's perfect. Almost a little too perfect, I'd say. The Bat- The Batman! But just above the Batman, the smack smashes down on the Batman. It was a good thing Carl was up there. Now we must get rid of this Batman. A good idea. A very good idea. Why not empty the sack of the grain, place the Batman inside, and throw it in the river? There you are, Mr. Batman. All nice and ready for a watery grave. Ha ha. One, two, three, and out he goes. The Batman sinks to a watery grave. The shock of the cold water suddenly revives the Batman, who quickly realizing his danger, draws a sharp blade. I've got to work fast. A quick slash of the sharp steel. The Batman is free. Well, that's the last of the Batman. Now make ready the boat to carry the TNT on its journey. The Batman leaps for the dangling rope and swings across the, last, the vast pier. His figure hurtles through the air and strikes the men like a bombshell. What in the... The Batman? Say, this guy has more lives than a cat. Come on, suckers. <laughs> Happy landings. Suddenly, the cough of a motor... The boat has started with its load of death. Too late. The boat has started. Maybe I can still make it. Like a human bullet, the Batman streaks across the platform. Feet run like you've never run before. A great leap into space. The leap is successful. The ropes are quickly cut from the steering wheel. It's a matter of seconds now. Nearer, nearer, nearer. Another second and then... The Batman desperately takes the wheel and turns. If this boat doesn't turn in time, I'm a goner. The motorboat carrying its load of death misses the steamship by inches. Woo, that was a close call. Now I've got some more work to do. I'm going to see who owns that phone number that poor Joey gave me. If it's the head. Uh, that phone number belongs to the socially eminent Count Grot. Uh... Just one look at him will tell me if he is the head, and is also someone else. Sometime later. The Count is busy. busy. He can't see anybody. You'll see me. You. Something new? Butlers carrying guns? Going away someplace, Count Grut. Alias the head. Alias Elias Turg. You. You don't look at all like Turg without your gray wig, you phony, your phony mustache, and glasses off. Had a hunch you were the head when you didn't show up t tonight, so. The distinguished Count Grud is really a foreign agent. Fool. The Count throws the shield directly at the Batman. At the Batman. Yes, but you'll never live to tell anyone about it. In a flash, the Batman... Pulls open the door, which is directly in line with the hurtling steel blade. The powerful throw sends the sharp steel hissing through the d through the soft wood. Now let's see how you can fight without your swords, rat. No, no. The Count tries to escape, but the Batman is quickly upon him, and the Count falls back towards the steel blade sticking through the closet door. A wild scream. And the foreign agent is impaled upon his own sword. Yeah. Dead. It is better that he should die. He might have sent thousands of others to their death on a battlefield. 
If his plans have been successful, this has been a queer case from the old house to foreign agents and the, to the death of its head. Yet a very queer case. Next month, huge, terrifying man monsters stalk the streets of the once power, peaceful metropolis. A metropolis of a once peace, uh, bring to them havoc and destruction, yet one of the men alone has the power and courage to oppose them. That man, the mighty Batman, America's greatest adventure mystery action strip. So, and there is an advertisement for the Sandman, who is a superhero. Not the Marvel comic Sandman, but he was, a. Uh, he was like a guy in a gas mask who, uh, he was like a superhero in a gas mask and he'd go around base little with the chemical gas. He'd get a gas and he put like criminals to sleep. I actually, I like the Sandman's design. It's pretty cool. But anyway, I might, I might read one Sam, a Sandman story. I'll probably read one one day for you guys. But, um, anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, Next video, I'm, I'm going to do something, um, actually, no, no, I'll, I'll just read, um, I'll read Fantastic Four number, um, 59, I think. That's the next one, so I'm going to read Fantastic Four number 59. But if you guys like this video, um, you like, comment, or subscribe, that'd be appreciated. If you want me to read a specific comic, just let me know, and I'll see you guys later.